Well, right now, we're just now getting started on our cotton harvest. Um, initial yields are probably looking from 40 to 70% increase in this season um, on less inputs. So our total input of fertility was about 20% uh, less than it has been in the past. We applied no insecticides and no growth regulators. So the journey that I've been on is, is, has been a long one, trying to get on uh, into a regenerative type uh, program. Um, tried to do it by myself for several years with cover crops and other things. Um, finally, whenever I, I started listening to John Kemp's podcast and met with some of the AEA team and actually had one of the AEA team, team members visit here on the farm, things started coming together. The, the program started making more sense. AEA taught me really um, one of the biggest things that uh, that we can do is is cut out unnecessary inputs. So especially in fertility, there's a lot of things that we were applying just because it was what Dad did and what Granddad did, and it doesn't doesn't have to be that way. When the consultants actually brought out and said, "Hey, this we want you to apply this soil primer," the the initial shock of that is, "Wow, that soil primer is expensive." But when you get to the end of the season and you see what other inputs you saved uh, versus that soil primer cost, it's it's cheaper. This the entire fertility program on this cotton crop was was less than $140. So we started using the soil primer last fall, and uh, we didn't tell our field hands, field labor, that that we had done anything different. They came to me and said, "Look at the difference in the way the texture of this soil is, and how much how much easier the crop comes out and cleaner the crop comes out." So especially with a bulb crop like onions. Cleanliness when it comes out of the soil is, is very important. So that, that helped immensely. Um, our consultant we've, we've worked with on a weekly basis. We probably are in communication five, six, seven different times throughout the, the, the week. And it might be a quick text message with a picture attached saying, hey, this is what I'm seeing. And this is what we might want to talk about when we get on our conference call. And the communication with the team is phenomenal. And, and the fact that if we could have made a few minor input changes and been totally organic has actually encouraged us now to start looking at uh, starting to convert some ground into organic production. Um, the other thing that we realize now that we've, we've gone regenerative and we've started telling our regenerative story is there's consumers out there, there's retailers out there, there's mills out there that are looking to buy cotton that actually have a regenerative story attached to it. And that's an important part of everything that we're doing.